Uh, if you go to YouTube, and I'm trying to give y'all for the one or two people that actually use the videos, um, when you go to the videos, you're going to start seeing 110 and 109. Because right now, 110 and 109 is synced. Right now, y'all are covering the same material. Okay, so when you go to the to my library and you go to playlist, you're going to see, and when you go to your math 109, you're going to see, like the last day, I added I added math 110, 6.1, and 109, 5.1. Okay? Chapter 6 in math 110 is the same as chapter 5 in 109. So what I'm doing, I'm making videos. Today's video is going to be called math 109, 5.1 or 5.2. It's going to be 5.1. And math 110, 6.1. I'm covering both, so y'all shouldn't have any problems with what I'm covering. Does everybody understand what I'm talking about? Yeah. You're getting yeah. dull. So don't come to me with this crap of, you know, oh, I didn't know. So let me go ahead and I'm just going to do this. I might have gave you, I might have given you this the other day. Shut up. Oh. Go ahead and write that down. Uh, hope, did, I, did I give you all this the other day? I think you did. Oh, sorry. I think I did. It might have been different, and it's the same stuff. Just go ahead and take a picture of it or write it down, because this is pretty much what Chapter 5 is going to be like. It's going to be regarding. Um, so if you – did you say that we've written it before? We have it? Okay, so go ahead and write those down. And with the, I'm going to just circle some things that you need to highlight. And I'm going to circle them in red. The left-hand side, you should know from review, you should know these three. I hit red. I don't know why it's not right. Red. Those three, which is the product rule, rule, the quotient rule, and the power rule, all of you should know those. Okay. Also, the inverse rule and the fractional exponent rule. <clears throat> those should all be rules that you should be going, oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Because you learn those in pre-algebra, algebra one and algebra two. Now, some of you may have seen logarithms before. Some of you may have not. The most important rule of logarithms is this rule right here. It's called the definition of a logarithm. That is the most important rule to learn logarithm first start. Now, Pendleton, just show of hands. How many of you have worked with logarithms before? Okay, mostly everybody. Okay. Jake, Easley, what are y'all? Y'all y'all seen them before? I haven't. Okay. How about y'all? Okay, so we've got about four or five people that haven't seen them before. If you have not seen logarithms before, you need to memorize this one first. Okay? That's fine. This is going from a logarithm to an exponent. This is going from an exponent to a what? A logarithm. A logarithm is a glorified what? Exponent. It's more powerful, I mean powerful. In other words, a logarithm will increase faster than an exponent. Does everybody understand that? Think of a, think of a logarithm as an exponent graphing twice the speed of an exponent. 
it increases faster. So instead of writing it as a exponent, you can write it as a logarithm, and that says pretty much that it's increasing faster than a, or decreasing faster, depending on what you've got, than a exponent. You ever heard of something growing exponentially? Well, that's fast, but logarithmically is faster than exponentially. What other? Here are the three properties that coincide with those three properties. The first one is called the power rule. The second one is called the product rule. The third one is called the quotient rule. Now, what I want you to do for homework, I want you to learn, I want you to review those, those over there for the exponent, and I want you to start learning these. Or make sure, now what I would do if I was you, I would go home, I would print out a cheat sheet for exponential rules and a cheat sheet for logarithmic rules and make sure you have those handy when we're going over the latter part of Unit 3. First part of Unit 3 has to do with exponential functions, which we've already started covering. Okay. So, with that being said, I'm going to take this down, and we're going to pull up the slide for Chapter 5. Uh, let me get rid of this. And pull up, get out of this, go here, pull up, resources, and pull up chapter five. I do have a 4.4 question to go over, and I will cover that in just a second. Chapter five, right? There's 5.1. Let me go ahead and pull up 5.2 also. And let me do that question. This came out of four. This is out of 4.4. Uh, I don't think this is a test question, but it's a good question to test your algebra skills. And it is the square root. Hold on. For some reason I lost my. There we go. The square root of x minus 1 is equal to the square root of x minus 9. So the square root of x minus 1 is equal to the square root of x minus 9. The first thing you're going to do is square both what? Sides. Now you've got shortcut number 2 on the left. And what does the square root do to the radical over here? Cancels it. So now you've got square root of x. <coughs> squared minus 2 times square root of x times, times 1 plus 1 squared. That's shortcut number 2. Is equal to x minus 9. That cancels that. You get x minus 2 square root of x plus 1 is equal to x minus what? What happens when I bring the x over? Cancels that. What happens when I bring the 9 over? You get negative 2 square root of x plus what? 10 is equal to 0. Or you can bring the 10 over to negative 2 square root of x equals negative what? Negative 10 divided by negative 2 square root of x is equal to what? And then what do you do to undo? You square both square sides, rooted. and that's going to give you x is equal to what? 0.5. And that's right. How'd you get the uh, 2 in the parentheses of the square root, or next to the square root of x in parentheses? I'm sorry, what, I didn't get the first part of what you said. What'd you say? 
So for the negative 2, and then it's next to the parentheses of the square root x. Or, yeah. How did you get the negative 2 right there? Shortcut number 3. I mean, shortcut number 2. Recite to me shortcut number 2 right now. I don't remember it. Say it again. I don't remember it. And that's why you don't know where the 2 come from. Not being a smart aleck. I'm just, that's why you don't know where the 2 come from. What did I tell you about the shortcuts? They will follow you all the way to differential equations. If you don't learn them, you're going to suck at them. You've got 